Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, Episode 540, Opus is the 2-in-1, Facial, and Body Rejuvenation Treatment, that is really new. BioBalance Health features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your host is Dr. Kathy Maupin, Medical Director of BioBalance Health, and a leading expert in treating the symptoms of aging. Dr. Maupin and Brett Newcomb are the authors of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, a book that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of testosterone replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast. Today we're going to talk about a new RF pixel machine. I know all these words sound kind of crazy. Uh, all, the, all the names for um, lasers and for s- skin treatments machines, I'm not sure where they get the names, but this one is called Opus, and Opus, O-P-U-S, and it's by Alma Laser. The Opus machine is our new machine, and it is advancement over separate machines that we have. We have a pixel machine that's done with laser, and pixel means it makes little holes in your skin, which then generate new skin and new epithelium and stimulate your skin to make healthier baby skin, which is softer, has a better texture, get, takes away brown spots, and tightens your skin. So that's what Pixel does. The Pixel in this machine is a little better, and I'll tell you why in a second. We have an RF machine also, which we use on the body and the face, to actually tighten skin. So this is a skin tightener and a texturizer and a refinisher for your skin. It does everything that we do in several different treatments in one treatment. So it can be done on the face, it can be done on your chest, it can be done on any area of your body. And it also it also can be done on stretch marks. And this is the first machine we've had that is really effective against stretch marks with one treatment. I mean, not one treatment, but one machine. It takes several treatments to to get rid of the stretch marks. But it's effective, and that's amazing because that's really something that has confounded the laser laser scientists to try to get a machine that will do that, and this will. So the way Opus works is it uh, uses our uh, radio frequency energy, and it also uses... Uh, a pixel type application that will make holes, little tiny holes that you can't see, that's why they're called pixels, uh, tiny holes in your skin, and also the RF energy tightens the skin at the same time. The holes are important for, for this machine because we can use different uh, types of serums that will be sucked down into the hole and it will actually go into the dermis and actually stimulate the regrowth of your skin. So it takes away the uh, bad texture of the top of your skin, it goes deep, and then it stimulates collagen all the time while it's stimulating the tightness of your skin, pulling the skin together. This is all well and good, but you know, how does it work and, and is there downtime? I have all kinds of people asking me these types of things, uh, every new thing that we get. So. This, this is very different. Um, if you have a pixel with a laser and you have it all over your face and chest, you literally are red and hot and look not normal. Uh, looks like you've been burned. And then your skin peels. And it's not something that you can have three days before you go do something. In fact, it may take a week to heal. It is a good outcome. It does tighten your skin, and it does some of the things that Opus does. But it takes five days out of your life, up to seven days, for you to look normal to go out into public. Opus, you can have it done that day and go back to work. It looks a little red, maybe like you've been exercising or you went out in the sun for a few hours. A little bit red, and then it goes away. So you do not have that type of problem about downtime. Downtime is important. 
if you have too much downtime, you can't go back to work. You can't go out to dinner. You, I mean, you'll be embarrassed to go out to dinner because your face will be so red or peely that you won't want to go out to dinner. So it's, it kind of impairs your social life. When we, during COVID, this wasn't an issue, but then again, we're, we're uh, completing that little journey of, um, uh, for the world. So now it is going to be an issue whether you can uh, go out into and go out for entertain, entertainment reasons. You can do this on tan skin. This is not something that you, you have to be white for. There are IPL lasers and other lasers in general. You have to have no skin exposure or sun exposure. So that is something that this, this is different. This is something you can do with a tan, tan skin without damaging your skin. So I find that to be important because you don't want to just have these, do a series of three of these, start in April, and then you have to stop in June. So, I mean, it's, it's usually every uh, three weeks, three to four weeks. So you would have to do it for th three treatments, three months in a row. I've had three treatments, and I'm very happy with it. It, it elevated my face. It made my, me extend the time that I needed in between Botox. Uh, it changed the texture of my face. My face is softer, and it tightened the skin. So all of those things were uh, ben were benefited, and I didn't have to stop working. I didn't have to um, stop going out or or doing anything. Like I didn't have to stop playing with my granddaughter, who would you know I'm sure I would scare her if I had had a Pixel or an IPL laser. So so those things are important when you're getting a treatment, and you have to ask the real deal and ask if this is going to cause you uh, to stay at home behind closed doors. The other thing is pain. Um, with this kind of laser, we use, we have to have you come half an hour early. We put lidocaine on your face and we do that for some of the other lasers. But this laser, or it isn't really a laser, this RF machine is, is it, that numbs you for this machine and you don't really feel much other than uh, little flicks, kind of like a rubber band. Now, for some of the other lasers, pain is terrible even with lidocaine. So I would I would recommend this. Um, also, lasers, you can't really get really close to the eye. You can't get right in here. You can't get right here just because you don't want to damage the eye. A laser could damage the eye. This is not a laser. It's RF. So we can go up here and elevate elevate your lid that way. We can go right underneath your eye and tighten that skin. And that's very important as well because the other the lasers, you can't get that close. In general, I, I'm speaking for most lasers, the lasers that we have, you can't get that close. Um, so um, that is very important and it does elevate. Most people have trouble with eyelids drooping or uh, bags b beneath their uh, eyes and it can really help that and tighten that up. So this is something that you should consider if you have um, heavy lids, you can have it done up here and here and then see if it elevates. Um, the other thing that this does that other lasers don't is post acne scars. So with post acne scars, we use we do the little pixels. It's, it's like a little, I'm gonna show you a video at the end, but it's like a, a little wheel and we wheel it over uh, the skin that has the acne scars. And it stimulates the area that is the dip that causes the scar to raise up and build up so that it's flat. So that's one of the things that other lasers don't do. And this is something that this RF procedure does. So I think that's important. Stretch marks is the other important thing. People can have stretch marks all over their belly or their legs and they don't wear shorts anymore. They don't wear two pieces. They're embarrassed. Just because they had a baby shouldn't be a good reason for you to have to be embarrassed about your body. So um, this helps stretch marks, pulls it together, um, decreases the redness. It actually makes them almost imperceptible um, after several treatments. So that is something very important to think about because the other treatments that are out there aren't, they don't really even talk about stretch marks because they, they don't adequately take care of them. So this is also pulling the skin in in the area where the stretch marks are where you may have laxity of the skin. I'd wait um, a year after having a baby to do it because your skin is still coming in and healing uh, for that first year. So 
I would not do this right after a baby. I would wait. Um, many people have enlarged pores. We, we um, have a Vizia machine where we, we have you sit with your chin in this little kind of mirrored area and we take pictures all the way around your face. This Vizia shows, gives us a score for, for tone of your skin, for, for um, pore size, uh, for wrinkles, for brown spots. Almost everything you don't want to know about your face is, comes up on this. And the enlarged pores comes up on most people. So there are areas that are, that are larger than others. Most people don't have them all over their face. They have them areas here on their nose, down here around their mouth. So we then will use this on the areas where they have large pores. And we'll go do several passes over that area to attend to the pores to close them up and make them less uh, obvious. They just get smaller, just like everybody else's skin. Uh, skin rejuvenation, everybody calls, does, says their laser rejuvenates. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means that it tightens skin, that it decreases wrinkles, that it elevates skin that's starting to droop, and that it makes it look younger, basically. All the things that makes your skin look younger. So that's that's one of the things that Opus does. Uh, then they take that skin rejuvenation, if you didn't understand that, they say it helps laxity, which is just your skin falling down. It, you know, not, if, you're, if you're falling down to here, you probably this is not going to take away that much laxity, but if you just have jowls or you feel like you want to go like this all the time, then, then that kind of laxity, it will treat. Wrinkles, wrinkles are, are contractions of the skin, but it's it deep skin. So this really does help, just like with the acne scars, it helps release those contractions so that they're smoother, so you don't see the wrinkles. So that's really good here, it's really good here, it's really good here as well. So those are areas, if you have those when you're looking in the mirror, this would be something that would be improved with the Opus. It also does a couple other things that other, um, other machines don't do, skin tags. You can have skin tags treated with this and, and have them zapped, and ha they will come off. The, um, I don't know if you know what xanthal asthma is. Xanthal asthma, it's those little bags under your eyes for people with high cholesterol. They have yellow bags under their eyes. Well, this will treat xanthal asthma. So that's very important. If you have those, they're somewhat unsightly, and everybody knows you have high cholesterol. <laughs> So it, those can be treated with this machine. And last but not least, sagging eyelids. There's a special, um, we have a, a, a wheel that rolls across the face and makes all the little punctations. And then we have a, it looks like a, a button that has the same kind of energy, but it is used up here. And I call it the staple gun so that it raises your eyelids. It, not like Botox, not like this, but I mean, it raises, we use it up here and it raises the eyelid by tightening the skin. You, you can use that here as well, any other area that's sagging. But um, sagging eyelids is, is a big uh, problem as we get older. So um, we can use this with tan skin. We have no downtime, uh, very little pain. It does the job of... Uh, more than two other machines together. Um, and uh, we will show you um, a video so that you can see how kind of how it works, what it looks like when we're doing it. And um, I'm hoping that this will be something that makes you look for this uh, in your area so that you can come in, and if you're in St. Louis, that you can come in and, and see us and, and um, get your Opus treatment. So thank you for listening. Uh, we hope to see you next week. Thank you from BioBalance. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the BioBalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth.